away the potential of deep ocular AI, which is revolutionary AI for uh, classification, detection, and segmentation of age-related macular degeneration, uh, which could be helpful in early detection and monitoring of ARMD. So our team consists of Mark, Rohit, Amabo, and myself, Anne. So age-related ARMD, or um, ARMD, is a major cause of blindness in the Western world, leading to around 40,000 new cases in the UK alone every year. Among the causes of ARMD, there are non-modifiable factors such as age and genetics. However, there are modifiable factors such as smoking, diet, and medications such as progesterone that can worsen the progression of the disease. By advising patients on these modifiable factors, we can help slow down this progression. And in terms of financial burden on the NHS, this disease is, uh, if detected in the early phase, can be useful in charting out a treatment plan and exploring different treatment modalities such as injections, laser therapy, which are all very expensive. Um, here is an image of a normal retina as compared to a retina that is affected by ARMD. Uh, and uh, this is a, a representation of the decline in the vision of a patient who is um, affected by ARMD. So one important clinical clincher that is known to doctors with this, uh, for uh, detecting or recognizing this disease is when a patient complains of seeing straight lines mainly. And um, over here we see the different uh, vendors um, and their image quality. Um, the different vendors that are there in the market are Cirrus, uh, Spectralis, and Topcon. And we can see that there is a difference in the quality of their image, which brings us to our current problem, which will be explained by Michael Lee. Um, hello everyone. Uh, so uh, the problem is that uh, so uh, the current models that are there for uh, diagnosis are usually uh, uh, very uh, poorly generalizable. Meaning that if they're used on uh, so if they're trained on a particular model, a particular vendor, and if we use it on another vendor uh, or another hospital where it's coming from, uh, it doesn't uh, perform well. Right. Right. Uh, so our solution is uh, to train the model on uh, different vendors and from different hospitals uh, and also using the uh, structured data of the patients like uh, patient smoking status, age and diet and exercise and things like that. Uh, so using a multi-model multi -model, uh, data to train it so that it can be more generalized. Too. And uh, so this is the uh, basic pipeline where uh, so the OCT scan uh, is the uh, modality that we use, which uh, is fed into the uh, model, which is basically a well-established well uh, deep learning model. It's called uh, UNET. Um, we have modified that to uh, take in multiple, uh, take in from different sources, and uh, and basically it does its magic and uh, basically gives out. Uh, uh, so it it basically tells uh, it can uh, uh, make the uh, image more clar uh, clarified. And uh, it can also uh, sharpen the picture, highlight suspicious areas, and uh, it also compares it to a vast library of already known images. Um, and uh, it can potentially catch the disease much earlier. And so uh, this is how the output looks like. So this is the uh, same scan, uh, which the model looks at it from different sides, like from the front, from the top, from the side. Uh, and then it uh, basically marks these areas. Uh, which are the abnormalities. If you see the red uh, spots here, it's, it's, a, uh, it's one kind of fluid. And the green spot here is a different kind of fluid. Um, and uh, so based on that, basically, it, uh, it can tell what kind of disease it is and what the, uh, so the different management also changes with, uh, between the different types of diseases as well. Uh, and uh, as of now, we have, we have good results. Uh, we still have to work on it more uh, to uh, see the performance of it. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Panel members, do you have any questions? Oh. So how, how would this be used in, in practice in terms of the, obviously, early stages? Fabulous uh, idea. We're, we're playing a little bit with AI models, and I'm, I'm curious to hear what you're thinking is around how you do the evaluation, testing, and the performance. 
go to the, that initial stage and then over time? Yeah, uh, so uh, I mean, uh, technical aspects don't ask us because we're just doctors and uh, engineers, uh, they had to leave. Uh, but in general, how we perform, the, uh, how we check the performance is uh, we, give it, we give a blinded uh, test set uh, to the model and uh, which has already, which has a ground truth which is labeled by the radiologist. And uh, uh, so that, that uh, ground truth that we don't know. I mean, the model also doesn't know. And then based on that, we can see the performance of it. Uh, based on how well it is detecting compared uh, to the radiologist. But uh, in general practice, uh, normally the result of the scan takes uh, a significant amount of time. But uh, if we use the AI in the workflow, it would take seconds. I mean, it would it would like it would be real time as the scan is going on. It can uh, see the results as well. Um, and also, it could aid the uh, reporting person to actually prioritize the scans and uh, make sure that people who are actually affected be informed earlier. Yeah, I mean, it would never replace the radiologist, but it would be a good tool for the radiologist. Yeah. <coughs> okay. uh, so, Pillbank, do you want to get yourselves ready? You're up next. Is Paul back here? Yeah, cool, right. Here's uh, any other questions? Uh, panel members? No? Audience members? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Um, so, how does the tabular data interact with it? Does that affect the um, highlighting in the model, or does that affect the sort of no. recommendations? Um, so, that? the highlighting is just segmentation. So it can also do classification, which is basically telling, uh, so we can ask it to classify the disease based on the severity or the type of the disease. Uh, that it can use other features for uh, to be able to use that, like to be able to classify it. Okay. It can use the other features. Thank you. Thank you.